In this video, I'm going to be breaking down exactly how to use Go High Level to build a sales funnel. If you don't know what Go High Level is, Go High Level is an all-in-one sales and marketing platform for agencies, business owners, podcasters, etc. I've been using Go High Level for just under two years, and it is an amazing system, not just for myself, but also my clients. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joy Nicholson, and this channel is about helping you not to just to grow and scale your business, but also your mindset and your habits, because ultimately it all works together. So before I dive into this video and I show you exactly how to build a sales funnel using Go High Level, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. So YouTube favors me and I can build this amazing channel. Let's dive straight into this. When you log into your Go High Level account, the first thing that you will see is Launchpad, and this is what you will see. Now, obviously, I'm doing this on my tutorial account because I don't want to mess around with my existing things. I'm very organized with my work. So my tutorial account is my Play account, and this is what I use for my actual tutorials using YouTube. So let's dive into this. So on the left-hand side, you've got all these buttons. Please ignore them. There's other videos that you can follow the links below to see those videos. But let's go to sites because under sites, this is where your funnels, your websites, your blogs, all of those amazing things live. Now, obviously, you can have your own templates that you can pull in. There's two ways that you can do this. I'm going to show you both ways. So one is if you have, for example, the funnel name, let's just call it test. Well, that's a terrible test. Top there. Uh, test. Oh, I can't talk today. And then you say create funnel. Now the sneaky way is if you add a step, you can pull something in from ClickFunnels. Now I used to be a very big ClickFunnels user. I used ClickFunnels for about two years. And then I moved over to high level now for the last two years. I have never regretted my decision. So if you currently click funnels and you're like, well, mm, I'm on the fence about high level, I strongly recommend to check it out. Even if it's just on a trial, I promise you, you would love it. It is really, really amazing. But you can pull in a ClickFunnels funnel and you can actually work on that, right? And obviously, and you're going to ask me, where the heck do I get these? I don't know. Go to ClickFunnels community, go check out what people have and just, you know, borrow their link. But please do not copy their work, okay? We model, okay? As marketers, we never, ever copy somebody's work. It is unethical. You will get into trouble. We just model, okay? The other way to do it is by creating a new funnel and by going to the template library. Now, you will see on the left-hand side, there's lots of different industries. If you're a financial advisor, you can have your own funnel. If you have just want to use high level for your own business. If you're an agency, it's an amazing way to make money. You can build a snapshot. You can give them everything they need. It's a plug and play system for your financial advisors, et cetera. Now, the same works with automotive, you know, like car. If you have like people that's in the car industry, they're selling cars, luxury cars normal cars, secondhand cars, whatever that might be. You can see the incredible amount of templates in here. It is pretty impressive. And then there's beauty, fashion, creative, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into all of that. So let's just go for the first best one. I actually like the car idea. Let's do that for a change. Um, let's just see. This template looks pretty cool. It's got a nice little luxury car there. And then what you do is you click on this. It takes a few seconds to open. And you can see, okay, yeah, cool, cool, cool. I like it. I like it. Let's do it. And on the right top there, there's a button that says continue. So it basically just says by getting the template, I agree that template is free, blah, blah, blah. You can read that for yourself. And then you just pull it into here. Now, sometimes it doesn't just pop up. You just have to refresh your screen. There's the automo automotive funnel. Let's try that again. Blah, tongue tying today. And then you will see there's a pretty little funnel. Now, obviously, this is a template you can see on the left hand side. This is for making appointments and thank you page, etc. Right. So you can have 10 pages on the on the left there. It depends if you have upsells, downsells, all of that stuff. So obviously for a car, an appointment is like the thing to do because you want to get people to set up an appointment to see you. Right. So on the left hand side, that is what you do there. You just click on the edit button. And then it opens your template. Now here you can say, um, I don't know, luxury cars. Oof. Okay, luxury cars, New Zealand. I'm in New Zealand, so let's just go crazy like that. Okay, luxury cars, New Zealand. And then you can see, okay, well, this is the car that's maybe featured at the moment in the workshop or in the showroom, whatever you call it. I don't know much about cars, so bear with me if I get the terminology wrong. And if you look at this, you're like, oh, you're such an idiot bear with me, is about the concept of building the sales funnel. So you can say we provide the best services. Now, here's a little tip as a marketer to you. If you don't, if you don't know marketing, you're not familiar with marketing, or maybe you've got a kind of an idea, your sales funnel is going to convert when you actually have the right copy. 
how do you get the best copy? By really understanding and knowing who you're serving in the sales funnel. So obviously you are not going to go and have this for somebody that's not going to be able to afford a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or whatever you sell, right? If you have those type of clients, a secondhand car people, then that's the funnel that you build. So your copy speaks to exactly what your people need that look on this funnel. And this is obviously where you draft the traffic to. I mean, you're not going to send this to your average Joe when you run Facebook ads or Google ads or whatever. You want to make sure that people that are doctors and lawyers and business owners and whatever can that can afford a car like this is going to get this funnel. So that's very important. Okay. There's a side note, but it's very important because I really, I get graded by the fact that people will like say, oh, sales funnels are not working for me. I didn't make money with sales funnels. Yeah. It's because you're not using the right copy. If you're not using the right traffic, the right copy, it's never going to work. It's like plugging in a cell phone that has no, like if you don't plug in a cell phone, there's no energy that goes to it. Right. So Scrolling down, yes, our best workers, cars, blah, blah, blah. This is what they offer. Now, obviously, you can delete these things. I'm just going to go through this funnel because I've never actually opened this. We'll go through it together, and then I can edit it, and you can see how easy it is to actually edit this. But already, the template looks amazing. I wouldn't change much on this at all. I would just keep it simple. You've got your customer testimonials that you can add in here, and you've got people that is working at your company. You can have that, and then obviously, you want to have that in there as well. So as far as editing this go, now you can see this picture here is a background picture. This is then where you have, you can see in the green there, on the left hand side, that's that picture there. So now you can go and you can pick a, a picture. Okay, I'm just going to use this. You can see now that beautiful picture got replaced by this weird guy on a, on a book. Okay, this was just another example I did not so long ago. But you can see the concept there. Now obviously you go, oh, that's a mistake. I don't want that. You just undo and you save. And then when you save, this is your SEO settings. This is the settings. You know, when you go onto Google and you see the headline and the little description, that's what this is. So this is important to get this right. Okay, so I'm just going to say test because, you know, we're not going to play games now with typing all of this in. And keyword is just cause. And then author is obviously your name. And then the URL is the picture that you choose. And then you update that. And each page in the funnel have that. So let's build this out. So we've got luxury cars there. You get an appointment. Now, every funnel have a call to action. I would not recommend to have more than one to call to action because a confused mind will never buy. Now, even if they just get an appointment with you, if you're going to tell them that they can wash their car, they can get an appointment, they can do all of this stuff, that's something for a website, okay? That's where a website have many different buttons, many, many different you know tabs and exits. A funnel has one purpose and one purpose only. It's either to buy something or it is to get an appointment or it is to let them go to a webinar or something like that, okay? So the purpose of this specific funnel is to get an appointment. So if you click on that button, on the left-hand side here, you have these options. They can go to next step or they can go to URL link or whatever that is. So the next step obviously is the appointment that they're going to. Let's go out of this page completely because we, now we're going to go to where that appointment button is leading to. The appointment button is leading obviously to the place where it says appointment. You edit that page. So you just edit the page as relevant. And also remember, you have to draw this out beforehand. You know, draw out your pages, understand your flow. Where's people going to get text messages? Where are they going to get your emails from? Are you going to actually follow up with a phone call? All of those things, by the way, you can do within high level under the automation, which is, again, makes it all in one amazing marketing and sales platform. So you can see over here, it will tell you there's not a calendar yet. So you just go on the plus button, you click on calendar, and now it's going to give you these options. So I'm just going to click any of these. They just go to, I don't know, to our breakout session. Now it provides you with a calendar. Now you can code and edit these, these colors and all of this stuff. I'm not going to do that in this video, but you can make that red and gold or black and red or whatever, right? You obviously want to delete that one. So now when people go and they click on this, okay, this is then where they can book an appointment with you. And within calendars, I'm not going to go into the details on this because this is building out a sales funnel, but within calendars, which there was another video on my YouTube, look, look out for that one. But within calendars, you can charge them a Stripe fee, you know, up front if you have coaching or whatever, but obviously they're not, you're not going to charge them a fee to come and look at a car. 
So, but this is basically the concept. You can do lots of things behind the scenes with just calendar. You can send them reminder. You can text them reminders. You can email them reminders. You can do whatever you want. Okay. So the calendar function on itself is a whole entity on high level. And then that, but I basically book it in. So when I click on this, I'm going to save that. We're just going to call it test and test and whatever else. Again, I'm just going to type in random things. Okay. So when they, when they click on the button, it's going to go to the next page. Now, obviously, you can see there's not much here. It's just some things. This is really the only concept for this page is to just book in the actual meeting. And then you get the thank you page. Now, the thank you page is going to basically just tell them, thank you for your booking your appointment. And then what smart salespeople will do is they will immediately call the person and say, hey, within 24 hours at least, it's like, hey, you have booked a call in for this day. We are looking forward to seeing you. Be there in person when you sell something like this. A high ticket, you're always there in person. If it's a automatic, if it's like a free call, you're not going to waste your time with that because people are not paying for it. You know, if it's just like a coaching call or something like that, a strategy call, a breakthrough session, whatever you want to call it. But something like this, where you know this person is, they've got the money, you know you've targeted the right audience, and now it's time to sell this car. Use your body, use your mind, use your voice. Call, follow up, check them in with them and say, hey, you booked in this appointment for this day. I want to please, you know, I'll just, um, this is the process. Come and look, blah, 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 blah. You know, whatever you need to do. And then there's just thank you. Um, thank you for your business. Hope to work with you again in the future. Obviously, this is just a random, you know, standard message. You can say, thank you. We will be in touch with you to confirm your appointment and blah, 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 you know, whatever is relevant to what you're going to do as your CTA, your call to action afterwards. And then obviously put your logo and things like there as well. Everything is customizable. Um, just going to put that guy again for the logo. And you can see here again, each page, like I've mentioned before, you have to put in your SEO settings and then you can do all of these things. Also, you can do a call. You can link that through to a calling thing. Um, you can put your logo there, et cetera. Okay. I wouldn't use the same picture throughout. I would maybe use a different luxury car here just to get them a little bit more intrigued. But that is literally how you build the sales funnel. And I didn't go into building it from scratch because this template is really, really good. But all you need to do is if you want to build from scratch, you add a section, which is just that one over there. You add a full section, you add a row, you add a column, you add an element. I have got a video where how I explain how the structure of a funnel or a website will goes within high level and it is literally like building lego blocks you can't have a funnel that is you can't have a section without a row you can't have a row without a column and you can't have a column without an element they literally work all together like building lego blocks okay and that's just something to remember with this and then obviously on the you know the plus there Use it the calendar and all of that stuff. So when you're in elements, element is like your most important one. Element is where you have your headline, your you can see on the right hand side, you've got your headlines, you've got your sub headlines, you've got forms, buttons, videos, images. You can do some custom CSS, blah, blah, blah. There's so much that you can do. Obviously, you saw me pulling in the calendar from there, etc. So your two-step order form where people pay, all of that type of stuff. So it's all under elements. And the section and the rows, that's just your structure. Okay. And that is literally how you build out a sales funnel within high level. Now, obviously, you want to connect it. I'm not going to go into super crazy detail because I do have a video on automation. And I will drop that link below as well. But what you need to do with this one, you go back out of your, your funnel completely. You go into automation. And you create a workflow. Now, with this workflow, you already have things going on. You can say, okay, well, it's an appointment booking. Okay, you can start from scratch. So let's say appointment booking because this is what people are going to do. They're going to go onto your website to book an appointment. And you can decide what the trigger is. The trigger is could be appointment status. It could be whatever that is. Um, and let's see appointment status. Because on the first page, they don't have a call of action to buy anything, right? The, the call of action is to book an appointment. And then the appointment status is maybe, um, let's just see here, uh, customer booked appointments at the filter. Uh, in calendar, it could be a hash, um, has a tag, you know, if you want to say luxury car or whatever it is. 
and it's in calendar and then the calendar that we chose was I think it was a booking request form and then there could be extra things like a tag or whatever okay but for the sake of this purpose we'll just go save the trigger and now you can see here it tells you new things now you've got a, a sent appointment prompt it's already set up all you really need to do is just go in there and change the things out. And if you feel like, well, I really want a text message, you can add text messages and you obviously have to pay extra for that. That is part of, um, you know, the texting service that comes with the system and you pay per text, which is just the thing that you do. And then you've got, but if you want to do that, it's really not it's expensive at all. It's very affordable to do something like that. And especially with something like this, you know, text messages seem so much more personal than just an email. Okay, so you definitely need to do the combination between email and text messages. And then you've got blah, 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 thanks for that. And then obviously location name. So these are all things like if I go there, custom values is high contact first name. Thank you for booking your appointment and then calendar name, you know, like things like that. Okay. Um, and then you've got on the left hand, oh, so again, here on your main workflow, you wait for a respond because you're not going to immediately hassle them with another thing, okay? You give them a day or you give them an hour, depending on, you know, how long the appointment has been, obviously. And then there's yes or no. So that they reply, okay? You can have a call to action to say, please confirm your appointment, which I would recommend because if they take the time to confirm the appointment, it means that they are serious about actually coming to look at this car or having an appointment with you, whatever that looks like. Yes, intent per, per, uh, per, um, intended positive, yes, calendar link, internal notification, um, today, SMS reminder, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm not going to go into the workflow status build, but this is basically what you do. And that's your automation setup. So it's really simple to get into it. And if you struggle with it, I mean, high level have a whole support system here. So if you look on the right hand side, if you click under the question mark, need help, there is a welcome course. There is join a Facebook group. There is live chat. There's priority support there's high level support that you can call them. So there is options if you struggle. And then also you can reach out to me. You know, if you if you sign up with me, if you're not a, if you do not have a go high level account and you sign up with me with my, you know, with my affiliate link that is down below in the email, I do provide checklists. So if you're brand new, I actually do at this stage, we are currently in 2023, January. At this stage, I do provide an onboarding call. I don't know if I will provide this in future. Maybe in like six months, a year from now, I might not. But I can provide a very quick 30-minute onboarding call, taking you through everything that you need to do. I provide you with a checklist and most importantly, get you set up. So your two-week trial is actually where you make money in your business. And it's not just there for you to figure things out. So that is my offer. And also, we are busy building a community and very soon there will be something around that as well. But for now, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and reach out to me if you need any help with Kaha Level. I'll see you in the next video.